So, here we are on Ubuntu again. We're uh, going to do another round of metal detecting, and hopefully this time we find some more good stuff like we did last time. Keep watching. All right, well, we just got done. We did a quick uh, little walk down the beach, and unfortunately, the only thing we could find was this. But that's all right, because we're helping take out trash, so I'm happy with this, too. Of a shell casing right on the ground. Pretty cool. Let's see if I can identify it. Um, no, my eyes are too bad. Maybe we can look at it later. I'm gonna have to dig to find stuff. Let me take a look over here. There's a whole bunch of shells still in their magazine casing. It looks like it's possibly a vehicle that got hit and they just left everything here. Okay, so let's call it good for this site. I know we didn't do it very long, but that's right. We got a few, uh, a few other sites to hit. So, see, today on this spot was actually really pretty good. We got some cool stuff, it's shells, and all right, let's move on. All right, here we are at the General's Cave. It's the first time I've ever been in the cave to actually metal detect. I've been through it a few other times before and couldn't get very good videos, but this time we're prepared. We got lots of light. So here we go. All right. Here comes the fat guy. Do we want to go to the uh, memorial piece first? Yep. So you can see we're in the first section of the cave here. It's all been concreted. It's a little warm. Go into the next section here. You can see a little shrine right here. This is for General Kuri Bayashi. This was his cave. Yeah. All right, so here we are in the main cavern of the General's Cave. I'm going to just do a quick bit of metal detecting right here. 
to see if uh see if we can get anything interesting. All right. All right, so this looks like a little bit softer ground. Maybe we can pull this one out. So as we got right here, a little piece of iron. Well, that was quite an adventure. We didn't find anything that cool, but I did find a shell casing on the way out. So that totally made up for it. coin. Awesome. I don't know what type of coin it is because it's kind of filthy, but this is freaking awesome. Awesome. All right, let's put that back in my pocket. Awesome, awesome. Finding a coin or something like that just makes it all the better. Awesome. Well, we're going to call it a day here for the first day of metal detecting on the hotel. It was a pretty productive day. Got some bullet shells, got some uh, a coin, which I was extremely happy about. We're looking at it. Maybe it's a quarter, but definitely let you know as soon as we find out what it is. All right, good evening. Well, today was a very exciting day. Metal detecting this is our first day out here today. And uh, I think we did pretty well. We did pretty well. Um, as you can see, we, we've got assorted items here. I'm not sure what this is or this, but you can see glass and then more than likely an alcohol bottle. But I think the interesting finds are these. Well, this top row right here is uh, 45 caliber shells. Uh, they're from WCC. And 
the dates on them are 1941, 1942. So I thought that was actually really cool. Here's a, a 38 caliber, uh, a 38 special shell from Remington. I'm not sure if you can see it on there, but it's got some good writing and you can tell what it was. And then here is some 22 caliber shells. Can't really read them too well, but on the bottom side, there is a date of 1941. But the most interesting item that we found was this 1942 quarter. I think this is the best find of the three days because it, it's a really personable item. And it, it, we all know that the Americans were here and so on, but this actually just gives more feeling that they were here. So tomorrow we're gonna to be off to do the same thing and hopefully we find some more cool things tomorrow. All right.